Once upon a time, there lived a young boy who loved eating sweets. He would have sweets for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and also in between. Since this habit was not healthy for him, his parents desperately wanted him to stop it. But no amount of talks, warnings, or punishments could get him to stop. So one day, his mother decided to seek assistance from a knowledgeable and respected sage who resided in the next village. The society greatly respected the sage, and the boy also appreciated and idolized him. So the mother took her son to where the saint was staying, hoping that the boy would at least obey him. After reaching the house, they saw a long line of people who were all eager to meet the saint. Finally, after several hours of waiting, the mother and the boy met the sage. The mother pleaded to the sage to warn her son about the hazards of overeating sweets and to advise him against them. As the mother finished pleading, the saint looked a little perplexed. After taking a minute or so, he said to the mother, I am so sorry, I can't tell him that just now. But please bring him back in three months and then I will talk to him. Hearing this, the mother got very upset. But since she knew this is a wise man, she reasoned and convinced herself thinking, he must have something special up his sleeve to keep her son away from eating sweets. With this thought, both returned home. And after three months, they returned to see the saint again. Looking at the boy this time, the saint said, Young boy, you should quit consuming too many sweets since it is bad for your health. So listen to your mother and obey her always. As the boy respected the saint very much, he shook his head and agreed. The mother was taken aback. She was surprised and a little annoyed to hear the saint's remarks. She asked the saint, If this is all that you had to say, why didn't you say it to my son last time? Why did you make us wait three months for such simple words? Mother said the wise man grinning, the last time you visited me, I too was in the bad habit of consuming a lot of sweets. How could I then have advised your son to do something that I hadn't done myself? So before telling him anything, I decided to first cut down on my own intake of sweets. And now that I've succeeded and I feel so good, I am in a much better position to talk to him about the ills and the benefits from my own experience. I can tell him how I was able to put all of this in action and follow it through. Mother, I only preach what I have practiced. The saint ended with a smile. The mother was deeply satisfied with the explanation. And so she gave heartfelt thanks to the saint and left happily with her transformed son. Thus, my friends, practice only what you preach. People are more likely to follow and listen to you when your words and actions are in alignment. When someone possesses integrity, they command respect, gain influence and trust of people. And therefore, leaders lead the best when they lead by their own example. Thanks for watching. And if you find inspiration in wise words and stories, please subscribe to my channel for more. And stay simply wise.